Deshaun Jackson sent out on Instagram an anti-Semitic Instagram post. And it is... I, I did not know how to tackle this. And you and I both were a little nervous about talking about it, but it is the biggest topic of the day. Yes. So, so we had to say something about it. I don't... I want to I want to go at it from this perspective. Okay. We I believe are incredibly anti cancel culture. We don't believe in canceling people for every mistake that they make, right? right? If it becomes a habit, if it becomes a trend, if it's what, you know, then okay, we can have that discussion when we get there. But in this instance, I really believe that he and for those that don't know, He apologized afterwards for posting anti-Semitic fake Hitler quotes and saying that he does not hate the Jewish community. Now, I'm not going to read what he posted because it's, you know, it is what it is, right? But I don't really get, uh, not that I get, I don't believe he knew what he was posting. I agree with that. I think he read a certain part. I think what he posted was bad, was not good at all. I don't think he understood what he was sharing out and posting. Yeah, I don't. I don't think he had any I'll idea. I'll tell you that door swings a lot of ways. A lot of people have been canceled in our society for posting dumb stuff that they should know better about, but I don't really think they do, and they pay basically a life sentence for it. They you, lose you remember- their job and they are they are blackballed for the rest of their life a lot of times, and I just am not for that. You remember when we were younger, and I think it still holds true today, but one of the things that you're always taught is think before you speak. And the invention of social media has taken away that filter to where you can post anything at any time, no matter what your emotion is. If you're in the middle of a ball game, you're in the middle of something really important that you're passionate about, whatever, you don't have to take that minute to think about it. You can fire it off, and it goes out to everybody that you know and people that you don't, and and they all see what your true emotions are in that moment. And there's no filter. There's no way to block it. Once it's out there, there's no taking it back, right? Like, that's that's the issue here. Like, I understand you may have seen something on there, like, that you thought that you agreed with, but you didn't really understand it, so you just go ahead and fire it off. Like, you fire off an Instagram post. Um, Michael said, the brighter font helps on the on the chat. Thank you. He said, why does cancel culture only go one way? Uh, Damien said, wait, why? Uh, what did he say that was that bad? And then Michael said, being ignorant is not an excuse. Do your damn research. Agreed, but that's what I'm saying. I, hang on now, Michael. That's cancel culture, right? Like, yes. It is cancel culture that says being ignorant is not an issue. And I, I understand and I agree with that to an extent. I just, I'm not making excuses for these people who say stupid things or share out stupid things and and they're, they're wrong and they're hurtful and they're not good. My issue is the, the price that they pay, the sentence that we give them, okay? Let's, let's let the punishment fit the crime is what I'm more looking for. Yes. Yes. Okay. So you say something dumb, you you can get slapped down, you can get corrected, you can be set straight. That's fine. I don't know that you should lose your livelihood completely and have everything that you say and do for the rest of your life criticized and ridiculed and scrutinized because you once said something dumb. Yes. Yes. That's it. Um, as far as what he said, it, it was fake quotes that were uh, attributed to Hitler. You can go find them if you, you want. You it's can go pretty find easy them. to find. It's the number one story trending in sports right now. Yeah. So it's not hard to find. We're not going to talk about Yeah, we're, we're not going to read them. We're not going to do any of that mess. Um, but you can go find it. Now, what we really wanted to discuss was whether or not the Eagles will actually cut him for this. Now, the Bills ended up not cutting Jake Fromm for the things that he said. Yep. Now, what he said was a private conversation, right? This, that that somebody else leaked out. Uh, Matt Miller jumps in and said, cancel culture is stupid because every human being has said or has been stupid or said something stupid because humans are not perfect. Yes. Agreed. 
Uh, Michael said, no, what I'm saying is don't post something you don't mean or apologize for it. Um, I'm not sure. Chris, I don't know if I follow. <laughs> Michael. Uh, he's apologizing because he has to. I, I yeah. wonder if he didn't know what it meant. And if he knew what it meant and he believes it, and that's, you know, neither here nor there. But in the world we live in today, your bosses, your your family, a lot of people that you represent will tell you, you need to apologize for that. And sometimes you do and sometimes you don't. He yeah. chose to. I'm okay with that. That's fine. The, I don't think all these people have to apologize. I, I live under a very blanket rule that nobody in the history of the world ever owes me an apology for anything, ever. You just just be better. If it was yeah. an accident and it wasn't malicious or or, or or something very personal against me, then then we can move on and we just both try to be better. If it was malicious towards me and you want harm for me, your apology doesn't doesn't do anything to yeah. me. We can just go our separate ways. That's okay. You don't need to humble yourself before me. I'm nothing that needs anything <laughs> like that. That's okay. <laughs> Uh, the Eagles did come out. They said, uh, we have spoken with Deshaun Jackson about his social media posts. The statement explains, regardless of his intentions, the messages he shared were offensive, harmful, and absolutely appalling. They have no place in our society and are not condoned or supported in any way by the organization. We are disappointed, and we reiterated to Deshaun the importance of not only apologizing, but also using his platform to take action to promote unity, equality, and respect. We are continuing to evaluate the circumstances and we'll take appropriate action. We take these matters very seriously and are committed to continuing to have productive and meaningful, uh, meaningful conversation with Deshaun, as well as all of our players and staff in order to educate, learn, and grow. Now, he may get cut just because of, you know... If he gets cut, it'll be based on talent and yes, finances. That'll but I don't it. believe it will be because of this. It won't be because of this. He, he makes a good bit of money. And his talent used to be elite. It used to be electric. And it has fallen off, as we know, receivers whose main skill set is just crazy lightning speed. The older they get, that is the, the first thing to go. And unless he can just learn to be a route tree monster, it, it's going to be hard for him to justify the, the salary in which he demands. Yeah. And that would be the reason he would be getting cut. Yes. Uh, I don't think it will be because of this. I don't think this is going to be a headache that will follow him around. I think, I do think we are getting better to where if we don't cancel people, we accept their flaws, we move on, and, you know, especially if they apologize or whatever, and we, we kind of just move on. Yeah. Uh, Matt I would Miller, like to think that we're getting better at that because that's important to me. Yes. Matt Miller jumps on – YouTube, he said, I do find it sad, though, in the state of our country, Drew Brees had to beg for forgiveness, and DeJon, uh, Deshaun Jackson has yet to apologize. No, he, he did apologize. He came, he apologize. He came out and apologized. He apologize. um, but he, even still, like, it's, you know. And I think Drew could have just apologized. He chose to go on the apology tour. Yeah. He chose to really hit home, you know. His, his changing. A, yeah. yeah, his changing. That was a choice he made. I think if he would have just came out and made a real heartfelt apology, I think it would have been fine. You you care basically what your teammates think of you more than you care about anybody else. Yes, yes, I agree. Michael jumped in on uh, on Twitch. He said, I'm not saying DJX deserves to be canceled or punished. I'm just saying cancel culture accepts apologies when it's someone they like and destroy people they don't or doesn't agree with their message. Oh, you're 100% I, yeah. right. Oh, yeah, that's no. True. no, 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 no. Yeah. But I, I, I would like to believe that everybody would be treated the same, that you mess up, you apologize. Well, that's what we want. And everything's everybody's that's not what I would like. the same. But, but yeah. no, they're not. And no, I, I everybody's absolutely not. No. Now, you, uh, you are correct, but, you know, we will see where this goes. It's, uh, it was definitely interesting to see uh, a different side of this, right? So Yeah, it was strange. It was very, it was very strange. It was not something I was expecting. And uh, I learned a little bit about this side of things and yeah know. uh it, michael said breeze didn't have to apologize for anything though i feel like he did strictly for the cancel culture uh i think he did not for the cancel culture nope. i think he did uh for his teammates because he wanted he, to continue to have a job he wanted to play yeah. football this year and he lost that locker room yeah and and i think he's gotten it back uh if you had oh, told me you. this morning that the number one story when i woke up would be Deshaun Jackson posting anti-Semitic things on Instagram. I, 
there's no way. Like, 2020 oh, yeah, no. is just, this is some of the craziest stuff we have. This year has just been insane. I'm I'm ready to play football. Like, I'm tired of talking about football is going to stop the weirdness. Yeah, it may not. I think it's actually going to add to it. But I, I was about to say, I, <sighs> I think this is going to continue to be a weird year. Yeah, I think I think you're right. All right. With that we're said, past the Mason Dixon line of that getting better. <laughs> let's let's dive into. Some-